everyone. Oh, like that. Hey, Anna. And hey, Mikkel. Hey, Kip. Welcome to the stream where we will try to complete Princess Peach Showtime 100%. So, I think I'm live, right? Oh, it looks like, yeah, I'm live. Yeah, so last night, oh, I have my monster, of course. I know it's on the X Factor, sorry, <laughs> but I have to live stream when I can. So last night I started, I got the game a little bit early, so I started to try out the game last night. But I have only played one hour, so I will restart and start over, because I was thinking I really want to make a review of the game, especially for the podcast tomorrow, that we will send live. Okay, and keep confirms we are live. I hope the sound is okay. And um, hey, Andreas. Welcome, the king is back. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have my crown tonight because I will just I will only wear it when we talk about Jump King. But on Thursday next week. But um, the thing I was going to say is that um, yeah, I really want to talk about the game and uh, in our podcast. But I know it's tomorrow, so I can't complete it for tomorrow. But uh, we will try to come as far as we can into the game. And I wasn't sure if I was going to do a, just a simple playthrough or if we should do a 100% let's play of the game where I, find, I found everything because if yeah, someone know who knows me know that I love to collect everything in games and um, before we... St yeah, I like to collect everything in, the in every games and the funny thing with Princess Peach Showtime is that I think you get two different, differently different experience if you want just to um, bash through the game or if you collect everything. I think you will really get uh, two different experience. So it's good feel that had made this game. And if you know me just a little bit, you know that I love Kirby. Yes, yo, yo, Kirby. I love Kirby Epic Yarn. That's uh, so underrated game and it made it's made by Goodfeel and um, one of the things that the game Kirby's Epic Yarn got a, a lot of critic for was that it was very very easy and yeah Kirby's Epic Yarn is a very easy game but if you try to collect everything in the game I actually think you will get a pretty good challenge in the game so and even though if you don't collect everything in Kirby's Epic Yarn I still had a blast so before we start, I love easy games and I love hard games. I love games that sit, I know many people don't agree with me because a lot of people always say to me they love that every gamer can play every game. But I'm maybe a weird old man and an angry old man sometimes, but I love that games are suited for different people i love that jump king is a hard game with a difficult challenge and if you want to beat jump king you have to practice you have to challenge yourself you have to even though you hit the rock bottom you still have to continue and if the setting had an option where you could turn it down to that you have a safe angel wing where every time you fall you can just lift you up a little bit the whole point with Jump King, for me, will totally fall to the ground. Good Anna, <laughs> love that. She says that she still love X Factor. She said still see X Factor uh, beside this live stream. Awesome. So the point I'm going to say is that I love that games. I I I would hate that if Jump King had an easy mode as an example. I had made a whole video about that. I don't know many people don't agree with me and I totally understand why people don't agree with me because I know some people maybe have a difficulty things with maybe they don't have all the fingers on the one hand and they really want to try Celeste and then they can turn an option so they can come through the game and I can see that point I really do I can see if you have some troubles 
uh, or uh, it's good that everyone can play the game. But if we come to a point where the challenge disappear, hey Mark, welcome to the stream. I think that some games can suffer for the experience. As an example, I love Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And one of the reasons I love that game is because of the challenge. And I love games like Epic Yarn because sometimes I just want to chill, sit back, relax, and just take it slowly, enjoy the game, the game. Maybe notice some different things that I normally don't notice in difficult games, like the background, the charm when when uh, when Peach stop up and dancing a little bit, and things like that. So I appreciate easy games, and I appreciate hard games, and I appreciate games that are in the middle. And of course, sometimes I can see the point why uh, a game is trying to fit a, a huge audience of people. But I don't think every game should do that. Because as an example, the Jump King. And, um, but yeah, and the, the great thing with P Princess Peach Showtime is that, and it's just a feeling I have, uh, not sure, maybe I will be proved wrong, proved wrong, wrong. <laughs> but I think if you just play through Princess Peach without collecting everything, you have a very breeze with the game. It's very easy, but if you try to collect everything, I think you will get a bigger challenge. So the point, so the question is, is the extra effort you have to do to get 100% worth it? Do you still have a blast with it as I have with Epic Yarn? And I played for around an hour last time, uh, last night, and I will start over. And the thing that troubles me with the game was that if you miss a collectible in the game, you have to restart the game. Of course, you have to restart the level, of course. And when the whole level restart, you have to see the cutscenes, and it's a very slowly easy peasy game, and that's fine. But if you have to restart the game. The, the level, as an example, three times because you missed a collectible. I think it's a problem. But let's see, I have only played one hour and we'll start over tonight, so maybe the whole thing will change. And um, so, just to everyone who's watching, I love easy games. So, I'm, I'm pretty curious to see how it ends. And <laughs> you, can, you can skip the cutscenes. Uh, I couldn't last night. Maybe it wasn't counted as a cutscene. I think you are thinking about a real, real cutscenes. But the thing I was talking about more is uh, when you start a level, there is a, a little scene that, sh that uh, shows up. Where, for example, as an example, the Western level, where you have where there are some bandits, you will have to see that they run away every time. And that annoys me last night. But hey, welcome everyone. Welcome, geeks. Jumping, question mark. Not tonight, but on Thursday. My sound is pretty bad, though. Is my sound bad? Is it still bad? I hate that I didn't hear that before now. Why is it bad? Can other people confirm that the sound is bad? If it is the knicking thing, I, uh, I don't know what to do, sadly. But if it's, I have to turn off or something like that, I can do that. You are not asleep yet, maybe because you didn't start the game. <laughs> we will see. Hopefully, maybe the game has got even better if I live stream it. Try Hypersport. It's better now. Okay, weird. Hypersport, I'm not into sports games, sadly. Okay. We will start the game. I'm not sure if you have to delete your progress. Okay, so because I have played one time, you get a different start. When you when I started the the game last night, you got a little cutscene where you saw Peach, and I had a little story. Now the castle, uh, no, the circus, or the theater, sorry, has been turned around because the evil queen have captured something. I'm not sure actually, but um, Peach, one thing. One thing I will say about the game already, that as a positive thing, that the, mu the, the, the music in the game is kicking ass. I really love the music, as far as I come. Uh, the 
Okay, so we have to restart. So, you can see last night, I played this level where I 100% did it, and this level. And then I come over to the, um, to the western, and I didn't complete that. So I stopped after that, so you can see I haven't completed a lot. So how do we delete? How do I restart the game? Can I? Is it not possible to restart? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, how? How do we restart? Options. What? You need to go to setting and save data. Where do you see settings? In the start menu. Okay. Maybe I'm just blind. <laughs> so where? I can only press A. In the switch menu, you need to go settings and save. Okay. Weird that you don't, you can't have three different save files. Uh, is it under? Data management, save, no, it's not cloud. Oh, this is so dumb. Is this the, am I totally, Do I have to scroll through the whole thing? Uh, Princess Peach, where are you? Hmm. I'm some. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> uh, oh, there. So, delete software. Oh. Please delete data after removing the, the game card. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? This is a train wreck already. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, we will try again. <laughs> uh, Kim is ringing. Is it a mistake, Kim? Wow, we have 15 viewers. So, the thing you have seen here... <laughs> until now is that I have tried to delete my save files for last night. 
<laughs> okay, we'll try again. No. Princess Peach. What? Showtime. I have just deleted it. What is going on? Why can't I restart? Am I extremely stupid right now? Oh my god. Is it because it's on safe data cloud? You need to go... Oh. I'm pissed already. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> So what do you say? You need to go further down the menu. <laughs> Delete save data. Oh my god. Okay. You have you have to buy your car before the game. <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay. I think I really know. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, so I will have to insert the game again. It's like 40 degrees already in here. Holy shit. <laughs> Use another of your machines. Five machines. Yeah. <laughs> True on that. Oh, okay, let's go. I hope it's okay now. Hey, Russ, explain. Welcome to the stream. Your pancreas is mine. I'm actually not sure what pancreas craze is. Oh my, I'm nervous. Okay, great. Let's go. <laughs> For how long time have they used the the toad sound? I think it's from Mario Party or something like that. <laughs> they haven't changed the voice. So we come to the theater. Wow. wow. I must say I like the small... Yeah, I love the new characters. I think they are pretty cute with the big nose. I like those characters. We are finally here, Princess Peach. Oh, grab some tickets. It shouldn't take long. In the meantime, you could check out the lobby. I'll let you know once we've got the tickets. So, you know that I love jazz. So, uh, the music is kicking ass already. We will be using your into the new salt fighting play, Montillery. Thank you for your patience. So, we can't go down to the basement yet. I'll check that out. And here, they will open up a little shop where you can buy some new clothes. So, uh... Today, we are here to watch the plays. But it's every three dreams to perform someday too. I'm not making my voice totally light because my child is sleeping in the another room, so I have to keep crying a little bit. <laughs> the sparkler in this place so good. The sparkle is unreal. Sparklers are our top stars. They have the extra 
sustained breeze life into the stage. <laughs> Princess Peach, I got the tickets! Awesome, let's begin. Ta -da! Here's your ticket! Did you notice how crowded it is in here? Must mean the shows is, shows are great! You can read that. Oh, the evil witch. <laughs> we have announcements for everyone gathered here today. Oh, I love the purple. A performance of terrifying proportions featuring. I can't, I, I can't read that fast, sorry. A crown? <laughs> and where is my crown? Damn it. Welcome to Showtime. Oh, that's beautiful. Princess Peach Showtime, with fireworks. And a little dark kind of music. Okay, last night when I played this, the first hour, my ears, my ears were bleeding while the little star kind of thing was talking. Try to notice how annoying <laughs> that little star voice is. It's like, <coughs> try to notice it. <laughs> Badass design, yeah. No, put put skill, but why? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Andrea says you should teach your wife to do the voice acting for Princess Peach, even though your version is probably more fun. <laughs> okay, listen to to the. What's wrong? What's wrong? You want to know what's wrong? Uh, well, some mm. strange masked characters are making a complete disaster out of our play. <laughs> we can't produce the play with them around. I don't know what to do at this point. Mm. <laughs> oh. So you came to attend some place? And now you are witness witnessing this whole mess, huh? Hmm. I'm sorry to hear it. I I have to sort this out. But I don't think I can do it alone. <laughs> I need a whole lot if you help me. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. <gasps> really? You will help? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Mm -hmm. Especially this little melody, I really love. I, I haven't heard a lot of the music yet, but... The little music that plays when she talks with the little stars is pretty incredible, actually. My name's... My name is Stella. I'm a sparkle sprite who watches over this theater. And you are Peach. What a great name. <laughs> With the power of Sparkle on our side, we will take you we will take back the play and the show will go on. <laughs> the mass characters are mentioned. We are in the Soul Fighter play. Let's get in there. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, so you can skip those cutscenes, but it's in the in-game cutscenes you can skip.
Let's go. Mm. So this is the Soul Fighter story. And sure enough, it still feels off in here. Someone's been hurt. Oh my. Could the mask ones be responsible for this? Huh? Oh, I got it. Huh? Okay, I got an idea. We should try using the using the power of spaggle. I also noticed the music, catchy melodies in all levels so far. In general, I feel the presentation is top tier for Switch games. Yeah, the music is really good. Now you can use Sparkle through the Rebel Peach. Huh? And of course, the backgrounds are beautiful too. Come on, use Sparkle to help this three. Three. Yes. Three. Yeah. Okay. Use E. I really want to use y, y and jump on B, but I don't think you can change it. <laughs> Thank you, Geeks. <laughs> this is just one of the powers of Sparkle. It can help people and things shine or feel bright. With your help, we can fix everything using the power of Sparkle. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, the little guys reminds me of an uh, old Disney cartoon. <sighs> Looks like this area has gone back to normal. But we better check on the castle. I'm not sure if you can change. No, you can't change the control. I really wanted that you jump on B and using the star power on Y, but you jump on A. <laughs> so you collect coins to buy clothes. Maybe you can buy some other things later. I'm not sure. Oh, bad guys. There are a lot of purple in this game. There they are. Oh. I love that um, I was listening to an in-cast Danish podcast for some weeks ago where they were talking about the demo from the game. And Niklas, one of the guys in the podcast, was saying that uh, he thought that the avoiding thing when you have to fight the peach with the sword was a pretty difficult <laughs> and Anna she was like laughing and I was trying it last night and I understand why Anna was laughing <laughs> it, it was very easy to avoid <laughs> oh you can always swap the uh, button in the switch menu if it annoys you too much yeah I, I, I can live with it it was just if if you could do it in the game it would be yeah. I can I can I can live with it. Like that. This game's just make me really want to play Paper Mario a thousand year though. With the paper background. So we have to find, you can see here, you have to find all the sparkles. I think they're around 10. You can see up in the left corner, and we have to find a ribbon. So, uh, to, to complete a level 100%. Uh, even when I feel like my timing is, I get the dodge, yeah. <laughs> it's so easy to dodge. Maybe it get more difficult, I'm not sure, but uh, I think it was so funny that Niklas was like, it's, it's pretty difficult to pull off. <laughs> No, Nicholas. <laughs> Hooray! Now we can keep going! I think you get a sparkle now. Yeah, you get a star now. Yeah. This is... Ah! Oh, it's a sparkle gem! Proof of your fantastic efforts! These gems are packed with shining power, so I'm sure they will be used... They will be of use as we continue. Yeah, I definitely have Paper Mario wipes. Definitely. 
So, interesting that you had picked up the um, the Paper Mario collector with the, the little theater. I wasn't planning on doing it, but after I was listening to your podcast, Marga, uh, Marga and Anna, I really considered to cancel my pre-order from Cool Shop and buy it through my Nintendo store, if it's still possible. Uh, and then I'm actually right now, Mark, and that makes you happy. I'm at the moment in a bidding war on eBay for uh, what is it called? Shadow Man, the N64 Switch version, where it's like a N64 cartridge uh, in packing. So right now I'm winning, but there are still five days away before it's the, the bidding is ending. But uh, I'm planning to pick up the that game after you have talked so good about it. I feel invisible. I love love those little guys. I noticed a little cute thing last night when you jump up here she will roll down that's a nice little touch <laughs> shadow man you will not regret it Nicholas also also blown away by it awesome I was watching a little uh, 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 watch his first let's play of the game and uh, I could see the charm in the game and um, I definitely curious to check it out and I think the the version limited run had made with the packaging is pretty awesome. So yeah, maybe I will live stream it someday, but it will probably be after uh, my um, first in the, in the fall. So I have the N64 version. It's so awesome. Have you opened it or have you keep it sealed? But I, I have no nostalgia for the game Shadow, Shadow Man. I have never played. I I actually don't think I ever saw it uh, back then when um, when I had my N64 and it was and N64 was the main machine for Nintendo. So, I'm pretty excited to try it out. But also my. It, uh, yeah, I think I have everything in this room. So now we get the costume. Huh? That's the Soul Fighter Spackle. Peach, I think... Oh. I'm very slow at reading for some reason. Okay. But I hope you all have a great weekend. I can't see X Factor because my kid is sleeping and Julie is sleeping, so we will see it on Saturday. So I was like, why not live stream them? So, so we have to complete this game 100% before Thursday because on Thursday I will start uh, jumping part two, uh, not part two, jumping Tower two, the DLC. And I think it's possible to complete it. I don't have time to live stream tomorrow or Sunday. Tomorrow we will do a podcast on Sunday I'm on a birthday. But Monday, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday I will live stream Princess Peach. So. Do we get a sparkle? Yeah. Like that. Okay, we have everything. I think. Maybe it's not yet. As I remember, there was... Yeah, you can pose here. So you can pose, and you get some coins here every time you see a special place. I thought there was something here, but maybe I was remember incorrect. Oh. Another sparkle. Okay.
Yeah, the music is fire. So, I think these people were the thing Nicholas had a difficult time to fight. <laughs> oh, I think it's funny. Especially because he's, at the moment, close to clear tower free and jump king. No! Okay, a new sparkle. Oh, we have to get the coins. We have to buy all the dresses, and of course, to hundred complete the game, we have to buy every costume. So. Go away. I'm so fine, Peach. I'm the best. <laughs> You could get, you could do an awesome collector edition if Nintendo had made a collector edition of this game. Could you imagine all the purple in the game? <laughs> You're getting some Beltro plate, Mark. I have one with 11 decks now, I think, and currently doing the stakes to unlock the wrist. Nice. Yeah, Mark uh, are playing the game. He said that in the podcast. I haven't seen anything from the game yet, but uh, I should uh, definitely check it out. I heard good things about it. Okay, so here we got the bad guy. <gasps> no way! No way! I'm actually not sure how... Last night I didn't understood how I was playing the guy. I think you just have to jump, actually. Okay, we have every Spargo. And we have the ribbon. I get the... Have you ever seen Mickey Mouse and the Three Musketeers? I get the feeling from that movie at this place. That's such a good movie. Tomorrow I will uh, review the game in the podcast. Oh, sorry. Uh, of course, I haven't completed the game tomorrow, but I will g give you my first impression of the game and talk about the good and bad things. And uh, there's the king. And of course, we will talk about the bad luck in our collections and uh, which game we are trying to come to our first in the list of bad lucks. So I, um, I don't know Cubes and Sonny's list, so I'm pretty excited to hear the list. Kim and Sonny haven't played this game yet, so it will only be my impression tomorrow. So. so much purple in this game. Have you noticed that? So much purple. That should be more purple in every game. So the costume I'm most nervous about is the is the little mermaid costume. I'm terrifying to try that costume. 
So I've only played this level and uh, the Thank you very much. the ninja, I think it was, where you have to sneak, and the um, the western game. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so level one completed. So as far as I know, the story will continue for another act, act two. I'm not sure how many acts there are, and I'm not sure how long the game is. Maybe it's not possible to complete it before Thursday, I'm not sure. Yeah. Now we get the purple room, look at that. Purple everywhere. And for the people who don't know, purple is my favorite color. We did it! Together we are able to use the power of sparkle. The music here is awesome. I love that little jingle. As I told before. But the theater is not back to normal yet. I wonder if these glowing threads, threads and the symbol in the lobby here are related. I bet the other players need to our need our help too. Come on, let's go check them out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a lot of Kirby vibe and Paper Mario vibe and uh, uh, Bell, what is it called? What is it called? Beldo? No, not Beldo. The the theater game that everyone don't like from the night sky. The, the man who made night. Why can't I remember the bad game? Oh, someone in the chat helped me. Okay, so we can now buy a new dress. The theater is really spooky right now. Oh, a customer. Could I interest you in some wonderful dresses? I'll take coins as payment. Definitely. I have lovely ribbons for you. Well, Stella, please take a look. So now we can make our own. Okay, which which Paper Mario game is your favorite? Good question, Andreas, because I change my opinion on that all the time. So I I think my favorite Paper Mario game is the N64 game, the original. But I think it's because of nostalgia. Because I probably think that Thousand Years Door is a better game in general. I love both games. And both are, are over my top 25 best games of all time. I never finished the list, but both games are on that list. I love both games in death. I really love them. But I think that I think Paper Mario in 64 is my favorite because of the nostalgia I have for the game. It was my first RPG I played. Uh, I really had a blast with it, sitting in my room playing it. But Thousand Years Door is a better game in general. So, I love both, but I think N64 is my favorite. Princess Peach Hype. Well, yeah. Are you playing it, Nicholas? <laughs> I was joking a little bit in the chat before uh, that you was telling in the, the podcast that you had a, a little bit difficult time to dodge some of the attacks when the saw so, so fighting Peach and Anna was like, what? <laughs> and I must admit, I, I, I think uh, it's <laughs> not that difficult. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so what kind of dress do we want? I actually like this one. I bought that in the second, my, my first playthrough. I, I, I will take this one. I think I like that. That reminds me of a rainbow ice cream. Yay! And a hype too. Yeah, we'll wear Yay! this. Yeah, that's good. Let's take that. I'm not sure if... No. We can't get a purple. Maybe we get purple later. Yeah, I can't wait to hear your thoughts in next week about the game. I know that you probably all three are is gonna going to absolutely love it. But I'm interested to hear 
your thoughts, your positive and negative about the game. So down here we have the basement. I'm not sure what, what will happen here. It looks like some extra stuff. It, it gives me a little bit of Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion vibe. So I think if you try to complete the game 100% you will get some kind of protract trophies kind of thing. Maybe some sp extra special levels. Maybe it's the costumes. If you complete the whole game with every custom you get a, it framed in the pictures. I'm not sure. We'll see. How is it going with the Tower 3, Nicholas? And uh, I saw you live stream again. Uh, you live stream Wednesday, I think it was. Let's go. Let's go. You're close to the top. So this is the ninja level. That's the last level I completed 100%. The next level I missed a lot of uh, sparkles. Peach time. Peach time. Mm. Every classic ninja story begins in a village. Huh? Huh. Looks like one be going that way. No. They, oh, oh, oh! I'm afraid that we didn't got get the coins. Okay, so we already got us. Yeah, we got a spy. Don't worry. Kill him. You could. So you have to do uh, a Karina of Time sneak game. Again, the music. Yeah, the music is good. I love the music. My wife. I'm pretty interested to see how well this game will sell, or if, or if it will. Okay, so how many copies do you think this game will sell? I think around 5 million. Yeah, I think around 5. What are your gut feelings about it? I'm not sure how much Super Princess Peach so Maybe it's more. Maybe it will sell more than 5 million because of kids. Hmm. But yeah, it definitely suffers from the our correct design flaw of having one time uh, uh, chance collectibles yeah and that's like in Kirby Mark that we have the same problem and I uh, I was thinking yeah you'll probably feel the same annoying thing in that part when you try to complete the game 100% I haven't tried the I haven't tried the skating thing because of course it's only the first three levels I played but I have heard from uh, the reviewer from Pixel TV uh, Mikael, he's told me that um, it was a pain in the ass every time you was missing a collectible in that game because you have to do it all thing again and it was very easy to miss a sparkle. So I'm pretty nervous about that. Um, so yeah, we will see. Um, I've, 
it was more in the western game the, the western level the next level i'm going to play there in the start area i was going up to the rooftop and i was entering a building and then i so, oh, I have to go out from the building because there was a little collectible at the bottom. But I couldn't go out from the building, even though the window was still was open. And I thought that was weird, that you couldn't backtrack. Oh, only one to three million tops? That's not much. You don't think it was so more? Hmm. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of people that don't want to try, play the game or haven't picked it up. Well, that review was something else. First he said the control was smooth, then he said it was clumsy. <laughs> like, make up your mind. <laughs> yeah. I can't actually... I, I, I was only watching the review, really, yeah, with my health eye closed and the health, health uh, eye open. Pro that's probably not a, a thing you can say in English. But uh, I wasn't watching in depth with the review but yeah sometimes um, yeah i think some stages used to control a bit than others uh, i'm pretty interested to see how the baking, baking game is controlled in this area the control is good And that's, that's one thing that in uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, that was great, that the, the collector thing was more to collect all the, the, I think it was stars in the game, and you have to fill up the meter. So it wasn't that you was going to collect everything in a level, uh, or something secret in a level, you just have to find as many sparkles you could. Get. Uh, and I, as far as I remember, you could backtrack in that game too. It's a long time since I've played Kirby's Epic Game. Yeah, the music is good. That's the best thing with the game. I really love the music. Sadly, the the collector part is a big thumb down uh, for my experience with the game. It's okay that while I'm playing right now because I haven't missed any collectibles but if I miss one collectible in this level and I have to play this level again that will really annoy me so uh, and of course you can just say well don't collect everything but I think that's a part of the fun with the game that you have to find the secrets so uh, Oh yeah, I, can, I could imagine. Oh, you have... Wow. <coughs> you didn't pick up the pink Joy-Con slinger. No, I didn't. But I can hear you have. I could imagine that the pink Joy-Cons would look amazing on the white OLED. So you have it. Awesome. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of Joy-Cons. Uh, I pick up Joy-Cons if they have us... If there are some printed on the Joy-Cons, like the Zelda Skyward Sword. I really love those kind of design but I never used them and I have I think I have I think I have 10 joy cons in all so I have lot I have this skyward sword I have the uh, chest of the kingdom I have the Mario I have the white I have the normal I have the orange and the pink I think that's it, and I never used them. Um, 
I, I must admit, I'm not the biggest fan of the drug hunt. Max sent me a photo. I think it's of his drug hunts. Yeah, okay. I can see that. That That's... Oh, that looks sexy. Yeah, I can see that. That's beautiful. That would be awesome if they made a Switch OLED Peach version with the the pink joy cons. So how much did you pay for them? Was it around 600, 500 Danish crown? Hey Lesa, welcome to the stream. Yeah. Are you talking about the triangle X in the rock AI image? <laughs> it's so cursed when I open up your <laughs> when I open up your our message thread. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, you can look at that one more time. It's terrifying. Can we see the rock as a pink Joy-Con mark? <laughs> yeah, 600. I feel like they will be uh, one of the rarest Joy-Con sets. Oh, Mark, you are, you are pushing the right button. I don't need them. I don't need them. But yeah, they're beautiful. But, and definitely they are going to be rare. I think my Mario Switch version will be rare too. But... Uh, I definitely think the the pink joy cons will be rare too. I was pushing the wrong button. Six hundred is just much when you don't use joy cons. But yeah, they will be lovely in the collection. Oh, we got the ribbon. How many joy cons do you have, Mark? <laughs> the squirrels are all mine. So we have to check if... Yeah, we have everything at the moment. Oh my god. It was me that was bad. I hope it's the bonus level I entered. Right? Not met, uh, not that many. Three sets. Okay. I'm curious to see if we are going to get another Switch revision. Another switch designed mode. I would probably get it. <laughs> if you get a Metroid Prime 4 edition, that, that won't happen because Metroid isn't that big of a seller. But if we got it, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Okay, attention. I hope, don't hope I missed anything. I was looking at the chat.
No jokes, the game really looks good to me already. Awesome lesson. I rarely use them as well, but I'm so in love with the with the design. Yeah, the design are great on the Joy Cons. They really are. I'm not the biggest fan of using them either. But Lesser, then you should pick it up then. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, push the rock bottom again. <laughs> We have to collect the old all the coins. We have to get the dresses. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so Nintendo. I hope I got everything. No! I missed one. For fuck's sake. It's done. Thank you. Thank you. That means we have to replay the game. That level. I hate that. <laughs> That's the worst thing with the game. And my biggest problem. Ugh, for fuck's sake, man. Well, we are going for 100%. We will bless through it. <sighs> and that's my own fault. Own fault. I, I didn't pay attention at the running thing. It really is data game design. Yeah, it is. Why can I enter? So, this is my biggest problem with the game, and the thing that I got angry last night is that I missed one sparkle, Showtime. and I have to do. I have to wait for the loading screen. It's not that I think the loading screen is so terrible; they are a little long. But if you just have to get one collectible thing, you have to wait, and then you have to see. Not it's not a cutscene. But you still have to see them show off the world. So, you can't skip this. You have to watch this. You have to watch this again. You can't skip it. And that annoys me. And I know it was my own fault that I didn't pay attention to the gameplay. And I know it's a little thing. But... But... If you come to the later level and they get more difficult, as I think they will be, you have to replay a game so many times. <laughs> so we will just try to blast through it now. And I think that's the bigger problem with good feeling gaming with the uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. My big problem with that game because that game was beautiful and it was fun to play, but I hated the backtracking level where the level was flipped, and you have to play the the level one more time to get uh, what was it the dog people. I think it's a fair criticism, especially since a lot of these is like one-time chance collectibles. Yeah, and Mark, yeah, especially that, especially in the next level where you're riding the horse, and the. The, the problem I have is that the levels in this game are amazing to play through one time. But when you have seen all the surprises, as when you're riding the big rock, it was fun the first time. But it won't have the same kind of magic the second time. Um, and that's the same with uh, Yoshi's Craft World. The levels was amazing. But when you have to flip the world, it was like... Um, why do I have to go through that level again in Crafted World? And I think Epic Yarn did that better. And the, the levels ain't long, but still... Yeah. Huh? 
And you can't skip this. Yo, okay, we could skip this. Fair enough. We could skip that part. That's good. I don't think I got this last time. Did I? Maybe I did. Yeah, okay, I did. But we can take the coin. We need we need some coins so we can buy dresses. <laughs> We have to pay attention so we don't miss the stars again. The sparkle. So why you can't speak you can't skip this. We have to see it. Okay, so I have to get everything now. I'm not sure where I missed the sparkle. I'm sorry. So we got these last time. So it's after this one. I can't remember where I got it. Maybe it was because I got hit by the enemy. No, no, it's because I... It's because I didn't kill that guy? It's because I didn't kill that guy. For fuck's sake. Fuck me in my ass. We're only in level 2, and I'm so annoyed already. Come on! <laughs> I hate this. <sighs> so, you have to kill that bird. The first time I played, it was an accident that I killed it. If you have to slash the bird, okay. I have to slash it. Oh my. Yeah, sorry for everyone who's watching this again. <laughs> Mark is just laughing. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I'm so afraid that we will come in in so many at the same uh, kind of things where we have to replay the game because I missed something. I know I'm bad that I didn't kill the bird the second time and the first time, but the first time I couldn't 
I didn't understand what I was missing. And the second time I was like, oh, it was that thing. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, you also have to replay it three times. Holy shit. And that's the sad part because... I really think this level is good the first time I played, but now I'm so tired of it. Well, you get a lot of coins for the for the dresses. Thank you for watching everyone, I'm so hyped to uh, start the Jump King journey next week uh, and at the same time I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> So now I have to be concentrated. This game is more difficult than jumping right now. Okay, is it? How far have you come to the game, Mark? Sweaty hands than a jumping at that jump. Hello, Kenneth. Welcome to the stream. Hello, I haven't bought this game. How good, bad is it? Well, if you um, like. Uh, yeah, I, I will talk about the game tomorrow in the podcast. But I think a lot of people that have bought it are pretty happy about the game. I have. Problems with the game. Uh, I don't like that you have to replay the game so often if you're going for 100%. And you know me, I play games to complete them 100%. It's done. So, okay, well, we are done with that level. I'm afraid that with the next level, with the um, Western level, That was the level that uh, I stopped playing last night, because I was angry. <laughs> I was angry at the horse section, where it went so fast that you couldn't react with the first playthrough. It feels like that you have to complete... The, the, the thing I hated with the next level was that I felt it was the sign that you had to play it two times. Maybe I'm just bad at reaction. Uh, where you have to move fast and I'm afraid that I will miss it again this time because I can't remember where the sparkles was you have to collect the whole stars to get a sparkle so I'm a little afraid that we have to play that level two times maybe three times I will get that rest to the little cutie Stella I think that's cute okay you only have to play it twice okay Hopefully that will be the same with me. Cake level is spicy. Oh, I haven't played. I haven't tried the demo, so I'm uh, pretty excited to see how the cake thing is, because that's a costume many people have talked about, and many people have been been nervous about to play. Um, the costume I'm nervous about, as I told 
earlier is the the Little Mermaid costume. I think I'm going to hate those levels, but maybe it will surprise me. I'm not sure. Peach time. Peach time. Well, yeah. After this level, I haven't seen more of the game, so uh, that's pretty interesting to see how the game will surprise me or make me angry. We will see, we will see, we will see. Why will you hate the mermaid? I think I will hate the mermaid because it's a rhythm game, as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong. And you have to stand still and move around with the notes in the water. Every time I see trailers or gameplay from, from it, I have my thoughts was like, that looks horrible. But we will see. Maybe I uh, like it. Have you played the mermaid thing, Mark? Is it good or is it a little bad? <laughs> Why can't I? Oh. Kill those guys. Maybe. I was just thinking maybe there were more collectibles at that place. Yeah, maybe the ribbon was there. Oh! It wasn't that I was supposed to get. It was the coin. He need the leg slot. Who needs the lift? No, oh, to the mermaid. Hmm. Okay, you only done the first four levels. Okay, we will see. Then. The running animation is so good. The way she just lifts up the dress. Yeah. I have noticed something when she's close to the little guy she's dancing. Not this time. She did it in the first level. She started dancing. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I can see what you mean. Okay, that sounded way worse than I've intended. <laughs> <laughs> the run the running animation is so good the way she just left off the dress. <laughs> I didn't notice before you said it, but I can see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. We have to be nice in the next podcast. Last time you was very naughty. So yeah. No lifting up in uh, Peach's dress. Tomorrow. Okay, we still have everything. Good, good, good. Uh, I thought Rise of Ruin Renain instead, but I need to play this game as at some time. I haven't heard about that game. Is it good? What kind of game is it?
showtime. Cowgirl Peach. How we do? What do you think you are? Some kind. The text runs so fast. I'm impressed that small kids can read that fast. Yeah, today was expensive. Dragon Stoma and Renane. Why do I not know what Rune in a is? Are you playing it on the Nintendo Switch? So it's not a Switch game. Am I friend with you, Kenneth? Oh, it doesn't look like. I don't know what the game is. Hmm. But yeah, you have your big wallet up. Uh, Soul like game, PlayStation 5. Okay. That's the it sounds like an expensive thing. No, it's for PlayStation 5. Okay. That's the reason. Hats, hats, hats. Okay, so now I have to pay attention because last night I was missing so many things. I'm just bad at the game, but for fuck's sake. Should I just restart the level already? Yeah, I restarted. I, I, I can't see the point why I should play it third because I missed that fucking star. Sorry, guys and girls. I hate that with the, about the game. I really do. Oh, did I miss all the coins that I collected now? I think I did. Jump King itch is scratching me. <laughs> oh. This game is more difficult than Jump King. It's not that this game is too easy. It's hardcore. Ha! <laughs> 
Come on. I think the biggest problem for me is that if I played this by myself and I saw that I had to replay that area one more time, I might start Jump King instead. So I think that the f that I have to replay a simple level one more time because I wasn't fast enough to react could make me stop playing the game. Um, yeah. Reminds me a bit of the latest Luigi's Mansion game with the different theme worlds. Yeah, I can see that. Especially the basement also, it reminds me of uh, Luigi's Mansion. There are some creepy kind of thing in this uh, game also. I'm also kind of baffled by all these this game is for children kind of reviews. Yeah, I haven't read a lot of the reviews, I must admit. So I can hear from the podcast that that, um, that have been a lot of reviews that didn't like the game because it was too easy. So I, I, I just want to say that the reason I'm not the biggest fan of the game is not because it's too easy. Or too hard is because of the um, that you have to replay the level so many times, and um, yeah, the performance is sometimes not the best, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it, uh, it's particularly kid friendly. No, there are some dark themes already, and. If you just want to play through the game without collecting everything, uh, I think that a lot of children can play through it if they are okay with that. There are some dark themes. Kick says Mark is right. Okay, hopefully we will collect all the stars on the writing screen next time. But I totally understand I'm the bad one that I couldn't collect all the stars. It's so funny that um, it's so different from people, from people what makes them quit a game. As, as an example, Nessa didn't want to play further in Jump King because he fall, uh, he fall, and he was like, I don't want to use my gaming time to replay the same thing again. And I understand that as an example. But uh, for me, it's, uh, the fun part is to retry the the, the climbing all the time. I have a much more difficult time to replay a whole level just to find that little collectible in a level that are pretty easy in many ways. So, if it was just that I had to find things, I would be more uh, okay with that you have to replay, but there are some, there are so many collectibles already, I can feel. Where if you miss a little jump or reaction, you have to replay them. Later. So I have to be fast this time. Oh. <laughs> I, just, 
I don't want to play this level one more time. <sighs> what? If you die, you actually have a second chance for God's sake. Oh. Okay, I will do I remember that from now on. As long as you don't transist into the next area. Oh. <laughs> I know this is just a little animation. But when you have played this area so many times. Oh my god. I know, I know it's me. I'm just bad. But I really hate that I have to replay it because I'm bad. I can climb Jump King without falling, but I can't get the sparkly peach. <laughs> hey Tobias, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Remember your calmness from Jump King. It is, is it is the journey, not the goal. True on that, but <laughs> still very, very hard to. <sighs> oh my God! I didn't get it. This. So called kids game is tasting Damon's patient more than Jumpkin, <laughs> definitely. And this is only level 3. <laughs> I don't care about watching through the window. Move on. I'm pretty sure I will be tired of this, of this game after this stream. <laughs> You just, <coughs> just don't collect everything, or get good. Don't do as me. <laughs> don't fuck up. <laughs> oh. The costume I'm looking most forward to play as is the um, is the shoot 'em up levels. That looks awesome. Maybe I should uh, make a little video for tomorrow's podcast where I clip my replay of this level together and can show it off. What's the problem that I had with the game? that I suck at the game and you have to replay it. <laughs> uh, thank you for your lovely people in the chat, otherwise I will shoot my head off. Oh, I forgot I have to do this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good that the music is awesome. Yeah. It's amazing that eight people are still watching me suffering through this level. And you thought it was painful to see me falling down into the forest area and jumping every time? You have seen nothing yet. This is painful. 
to see me play the same wisdom level again and again and again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> wish me luck. Wish me luck, people. Wish me luck in this crazy hardcore game. This is brutal. This game is extremely brutal. I have to make a statues about that, that this game is for hardcore people only. Okay, I have to pay attention this time. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, it's because I'm too slow. So I have to turn that, okay, like that. Oh, thank god. I think I cleared this time. I think I'm okay, right? Thank god. I think this is the last time we have to play this level. I'm sweaty. I have sweaty hands. I have sweaty hands right now. Yeah. Awesome. X Factor is done. I'm back. Welcome, Anna. I have only screamed three times. But uh, welcome back to the stream. Mark has seen me suffering. And it's because I'm bad. This game is brutal. This game is only for hardcore people. <laughs> Good to see you back. And I'm glad there you didn't see my suffering. This is the third time I played through this level. <laughs> And don't spoil the X Factor. I'm very, you know, I um, love X Factor. So no spoiling in the comic section. Oh, okay, you have to throw it back on. Like that. Oh. I think we did it. <laughs> we finally did it. <laughs> How long time have I tried to complete this level? 30 minutes? I'm so sorry for all you people in the chat that you have to see me suffering through this level. Oh wow, I'm bad. Okay, so I didn't get all the coins that I missed all the three times I tried this level. But 100%. Awesome. So, uh, I hope that we can buy some purple outfit for the little star. I'm so afraid, Mark. How many time? How many time did you use on the cake level? I haven't tried the cake level. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm terrified. I'm writing a status right now. Print. Print. How do you? I, I can't remember how to write. Princess. Peach. Yeah. The sweetest is the most difficult game. I can't remember. I, I can't spell.
Princess Peace er det sværeste spil, og The Most Difficult Game. Kan ikke klare level 3. Cannot clear level 3. Folk lider i chatten. People in the chat are suffering. Undskyld, sorry. No. Let's we'll stream it later. We'll stream thirdly. No, we we'll. <laughs> I've made my uh, status right now. It says, Princess Peach. Oh, I have to say Showtime. People have to understand it's not prin Super Princess Peach. Princess Peach Showtime. Oh, maybe I should take a picture too. Yeah, like that. Uh, <laughs> Princess Peach Showtime is yeah, this is the most difficult game I have played for a while. Can you can Ike? Oh, Clara. Clara. Det er tre. Folk lider i chatten, sorry. Sådan der. Like that. I think I have posted it now. That's funny. <laughs> I know so many people are get annoyed, annoyed by me, but I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> people like, shut up, thing. <laughs> mm. uh, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty nervous about the cake level now, Mark. Don't worry, we <coughs> we come here to see you suffering. Keep sometimes you are a very bad friend. <laughs> you have to play through Princess Peach when you visit me, the in April. Dangle is more terrified of Peach's cake level than of our <laughs> That Pixel TV review must be an absolute good gamer. Yeah. Ow. I can uh, Pixel TV say something weird sometimes because um, yeah, where they talk about the Nintendo Partner Showcase was bad. I'm like, it's the best Partner Showcase ever. <coughs> I think still that's the best. Should we just buy the things? I like the orange actually, but I I will still have the white. But we have to buy them even though. I still think this is the most beautiful one. I'm, I'm a little afraid to use all my money because maybe there will be something in the future we can buy that cost a lot. So, is this the last level in the area? Okay, we are going to the bakery now. Okay, I'm so afraid about this. I have to get a new monster after this level. Let's go. So Mark say we have to replay this level four times. Oh, they're holding sweets festival here. The bakers prepare sweets and share them with everyone. So this level was in the demo too. So the sword fighting level and this level. As far as I know. Oh, it's about to start. Waiting is so hard. Crack out these sweet house. Yeah. 
first star. We have to stop them. Oh, the river. I actually like the... I like the atmosphere in this level. It reminds me of uh, the fairy tale where building was made by... Uh, uh, made with chocolate and things like that. Yeah, but welcome to the stream. I think this way, okay. I think we can go through here, right? Okay. Oh, you. I think that was the right thing to do, right? Oh, that's a star. Yeah, atmosphere is just cozy uh, here in this game. Yeah, no, cozy charm in this game, absolutely. The they nailed the atmosphere and uh, yeah, they really did. They really do. Where I'm going? Oh. Hans Agreta, yeah. Okay, so it's Hazel and Gretel in English? I didn't know that. So we have to do this again if we fail. That will be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I have to look through every corner so I don't miss anything. We don't want to... Replay this section. Okay, Princess Peach, let's speak. I'm sorry, I don't know that the night is dedicated to Princess Peach, but I just beat my record in Jump King again 10 minutes and 15 seconds and only 7 falls. I'm coming for your record angle. That's amazing, Geeks. Holy shit. Amazing. Good job. You are really a true king then. I can't remember how far I did I use. How many minutes? I can't remember. Uh, look at you, what a bitch. Congrats, geeks. How is going with the tower, too? this way it was eight minutes okay you are very close then <clears throat> make cuckoo with us <clears throat> we gotta make tons before time runs out place the finished cookies in the on the cards let's make one more batch first uh, control Press B repair repeatedly, then stop at the right time to finish a successful cake. Don't overmix. Okay. But how do I know? Ready. 
but how do I know I'm over mixing? Great job, we will use the car to get them out. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm, what I'm going to. What I'm supposed to do? I don't. This game is hardcore. I think I'm doing the right thing, but I'm not sure. So I did it. I missed two. Uh. Oh. Oh. Each time. First retry. Oh my God! I have to rewatch this again. This game is brutal. What? Oh my god. Tao Tu and I are not speaking at the moment. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Maybe we could get some fifth when I live stream the Tao Tu. So, I think the I think your more perfect the cooking baking thing is the more style you get. So, so I, I think I was too slow before, right? Come on. I'm not patient enough. Tomorrow in the podcast I will say that this game is the most difficult game I've played this year. And I'm not even kidding. This is a girl game. <clears throat> Girls are more hardcore and than guys. But Jump King uh, thought you're patient. <laughs> Not for waiting. Yeah, but uh, if I haven't played Jump King, I will smash the <laughs> the Pro Controller down in the table. I think. Oh. But I'm so terrified that I fuck up again. So I have to do all this again. Why did you vote for 100%? I think actually this game would be pretty awesome if we just made a normal playthrough without collecting everything. But you know me, I like, I, I want to complete it 100%. But still, 
game is it. I have to concentrate now. This is nerve-breaking. This is more difficult than Jump King right now. I have to concentrate. <clears throat> totally focus. Look at this, how long I have to wait. I, I can't skip this. I, I literally can't skip this. What happens when, when I done it right? When I do it right? Please, no, I, I don't want to replay it again. What if I fail afterwards? <clears throat> what is... Wh what kind of game is... Oh. Peach time. Move on, Peach. Come on! I can't skip this, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck, I'm fucking sucks at this game. More difficult than jumping in here. <laughs> this is hardcore. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with the bakery thing. This was the master thing for the game. Can remember, yeah. <laughs> uh.
I'm living for your Beatus memory. <laughs> oh, there comes Beatus tomorrow. The for the kids. I love that too. We have to farm. That's my farming game. So I will probably not complete Princess Peach before Jump King stream. So I have to shift between the two games. <laughs> I don't think I'm completed it on 100% before Wednesday. <laughs> I will stop at 11 tonight. So uh, hopefully we will complete this level before. Uh, otherwise it's pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, we can skip. Yeah, we can skip this. Yeah, that's good. So, can you give me a hint in the chat what I'm doing wrong? I don't. I don't get it. I like how I thought I would only be watching one hour of this stream because you would have caught up. To where I'm at. Well, then the cowgirl and the pig are level heaven, and we, here we are. <laughs> yeah, you will probably see the whole stream. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Come on. Come on. I, I, I'm not sure how to get the best. Oh, I don't know what I did, but. I'm doing so bad right now. I don't understand what what I do different. Why? I only pushed four times? For fuck's sake. Please, please. Where? There's no... Did I clear? Did I get all three? No. The meter is still not up. going crazy. Peach time. Oh, just stop in the right time. But what? When is the right time? I don't. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> you know what time it is, Richard. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Stop after the chocolate pieces land on. New favorite mini game? Fuck no. <laughs> and this is first the first chapter. I, I, I'm so terrified for chapter two, or chapter three, or chapter four, or chapter five. I'm not sure how many chapters are. <coughs> oh, and this 
and this was a part of the demo of the game. Yeah, she did actually did. <laughs> did she really not give you a bakery first? A, a gift? Yeah, you know, you know that. That's right. Good remember. I think my bed of four retries were on the low side. Fuck you, what? <laughs> I think you're right. <sighs> you're a programmer. If you did this in four times, holy shit. This whole path is pretty cute the first time, but the fourth time, I'm just like, why? I'm, I'm. What if we're not going to complete this level before tonight, before 11? It's amazing how a Peach game seems to be harder than any other games out there. I'm down with 9 minutes and 2 seconds with 4 falls. Holy shit. That's insane, Geeks. You are a true Jump King Master. You need the crown. You need the plush. I, th I don't think a lot of people have done that, so that's pretty amazing. Simon. You have really fallen into the Jump King. Trauma, 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 trauma. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. Will this be the time? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. God's sake, come on. I stopped at the chocolate, but it still doesn't happen. I, 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 I can't get the feeling of the bakery thing. I don't get it. We will just have to try, try, and try. Well, why did this not uh, go to be a perfect? That was perfect. Understand it. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did I clear? Come over here. Did I clear? Please, come on. That's the hardest thing I have ever completed, I feel like. <laughs> he will explode if he loses now, yeah, but oh, we are still we're still not done with the game at the level yet. <sighs> what I'm supposed to do. I don't wanna beg again. Please no. The kick base are ready, but uh you must be 
got some hot. Hurry, hurry. No, I have to check over here. Is there any? I have to. Oh. I have to check if there are any secret. <laughs> now, let's hope you clear the final minigame. Okay, if I don't clear the final minigame, I still will end the game in, in, in this level. Because then I have got the stars in the first round. So we don't have to do that again. <clears throat> Tower 2 still seems to be impossible. Can't wait to see how you manage to beat it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, uh, Tower 2 is more difficult than Tower 1, definitely. Oh, I'm terrified. Follow the recipes and decorate the cakes. Let us know when you they are ready to go. Oh no. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. What I'm going to do? Mm. Press B to decorate the cakes. When you are finished, hold A to let the treats. No. What? What, mm. what is it? B. Okay. I, I don't. Mm. I have to press B to decorate. When you are finished, hold A. Okay. Did I did it? Did I do it? Oh fuck. Oh my god, there's a time limit? Fuck. I, hadn't, I didn't see the time limit. My heart is pumping right now. What? What? I don't understand what to do. This game is insane. Let me clear it. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god, come on. For fuck's sake. Cleared. Please, please, I don't want to play it again. Relief. 
Wow. This was the fourth time, right? So we're ending up completed it. This is beautiful, actually. I like this. The presentation of this game is incredible. I must admit, the presentation on the game. Please just call me a pro gamer. Please just call me Bakery Peach from now on, Mr. Bear. <laughs> 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 we did it! <sighs> oh, I thought we didn't get the rebound. Oh, okay, no more. Oh. I was sweating on the last game. <laughs> Too. I did it. <laughs> Smiling all over his face. <laughs> this game is so fucking intense. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. Holy shit, man. We did it. Okay, is there a boss fight or something? I'm pretty interested to see that. I'm so interesting, interested to see how the boss fight is. <clears throat> so, let's just check. 100. 100. Awesome. Thank you for watching, Mark. That was a blast to have you in the chat. And then okay let's see the bus and then we will stop for tonight so we clear the floor i think that's pretty good oh. <laughs> thanks for the 90 <laughs> in the stream <laughs> thank you for watching mark <clears throat> so these threads were connected to the store maybe this is somehow linked to the to the place being messed up That's strange. My sparkle is getting stronger. Seems like it's responding to this creepy door or something. Huh? I might be able to open it if we boost my power with some sparkle gems. Thank you, Lesa. Thank you for watching. Doesn't seem like the kind of game you are falling asleep to, no. <laughs> it's, it's too intense. <laughs> Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you collected? Hell yeah, I have a lot. Give still a 10. Sure. So, you actually have to collect them. So there's a point with the sparkles. Not just to complete 100%. But 10 sparkles is just one whole level to complete. So much purple in this game. I love that. I love I love it's a very colorful game, I must admit. <clears throat> okay. Bird Disco. Who to be you? How you get through that door? We rewrite stories with Madame Grape. So if you are here to stop us, then I punish you with Madame Grape's power of tackle. Tackle, I think it's called. Disco, disco wing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice music. It sounds like a, what is it called? The, the Bowser, the 
Mario 3D World. No, Super Mario 3D World, yeah. Where the Bowser theme. Okay, the music is fire. Music like is fire. Holy shit. That's just my kind of music. You know, I love jazz. Awesome boss fight. I like that. That was good. <clears throat> Purple disco. That's just totally this thing. <laughs> that's totally the dangle world. Totally. Purple disc, that's totally the dangle world. Yeah. If you just could live in a world full of purple, that would make my life heavy all, all the time. Okay, I really thought that this that boss fight was uh, amazing first first world boss fight yeah. it was easy but it was very uh, it's changed a lot and the music was fire the yeah the surroundings were good i liked it this floor is back to normal because of you yay thank you so much hmm. i must admit the music is fire in this game i read uh, the, the melody here is totally amazing we still haven't seen any sparkles though. I wonder where you went. I'm worried about them. <clears throat> Maybe they're evacuated huh? to one of the other floors. Let's go back. <clears throat> Thank you, Kim. Thanks for the stream. Sorry I've been inactive in the stream, but Beltos, you know, I'm so addicted. Awesome, Kim. And thank you for watching. So I think that this floor is back to normal. Oh, can we take a picture? Hmm, now where we will find the next one. Oh, hello there. I'm Sparkle Theatres. Pick Chainer. I specialize in performance photos. I'm currently seeing a new performer who really shines for the camera. I recently snapped image from a particular riveting performance, in fact. 
could it be, young lady, that you chew up a form of? Hmm? I hope then that you don't mind me taking photos of you in all your glory on stage. If you collect all the sparkles gems, ooh, during a play, I will capture a many fiction photo of you. And of course, as a thanks for your cooperation, I will give you an album and 80 photos of them. I look forward to your stunning performance. Obtain album, an album of Peachy for performance. So, okay, so I got photos because I completed the album collection. <clears throat> I have to get all the red dots away. That's a weird thing I have. So it looks like I have, yeah. So it's like, okay, I've done everything like that. I think Mark that does that too. And the movies, like that. Okay. And the get a rope. Oh, we get strawberry dress. <clears throat> Good night. I'm never gonna buy the game, but I was, but it was fun to see you struggle. <laughs> Thank you, geeks, for watching. Good night. <sighs> okay, so this is just. Uh, we have wonderful rewards prepared based on your performance. Now show us your very best. Oh. So you get a ribbon to complete that. Okay, so there are some extra stuff challenge. You have to do that too. <clears throat> Every ha ever heard of heart charm? They are all the rage among new actors. If you carry one of you, you will grant your three bonus hearts. Okay, so that's an easy mode. No. How many percent of the game did you complete tonight? Uh, let me just change my mind. Uh, I'm not sure how... How can you see that? Can you see that anywhere? I don't know how, how big the game is, uh, Andreas. I don't think you can see that. I have no idea how many floors there are in the game, um, but next time I will take up this challenge here because we have to do that, and uh, I will just have to check the second floor just to see how it looks like. I'm inter interested. Okay, so in this floor we have a saw fighting again thing it looks like and I'm not sure what this is a superhero maybe and skating and detective okay hmm. but uh, that will be for on Monday we'll do that and uh, we will, of course, also take the challenge down here. That we have to... Oh. We have to take that challenge over here, because you got a ribbon. Okay! Thank you for watching, everyone. That was a lovely little stream in three hours. Well, <clears throat> I will talk about the game tomorrow in our podcast. It will be tomorrow at the same time as I stream tonight. 8 o'clock Danish time. Um, I don't know what I think about the game. I love the atmosphere and I love, yeah, I'll talk about it tomorrow. But there is something I hate about the game too. There's something I love and there's something I hate. We will talk about it tomorrow in our podcast, The Ghastly Goombas Part 4, I think it is. Yeah, Part 4. But thank you everyone for watching. This was Stanko from the P-Wing.
Purple Love to you all. Good night and see you tomorrow.